Hello, second year. How are you today? Well, today is Monday, the 27th of July. Welcome back. What about holidays? Did you enjoy holidays? What things did you do on holidays? It, it, there were two uh, weeks that were very nice week. Yes, hot days. Yes, okay. But now it's cold. Yes, because it's, we, it's winter, of course. So, today we're going to check pages 3, 7, 8, 32, 33 from the Quadernillo, from the activity book, pages 60, 61, 62, and 63, and you have to send, yes, all these things, yes, to Google Classroom, to the Google Classroom. The brainstorming of the other month, composition number one from the list, from the Quadernillo, from page 7, remember you have a postcard. From page 8, from the quadernillo, you have a description. You have all the grammar activities, but on these two pages, there were also a postcard and a description, okay? Plus the description, yes, of your appearance, the short description of your appearance, from the class book, page 97, exercise 10. Is it clear? So let's go very quickly to uh, the pages from the activity book, okay? It's very important that you check everything, yes? Put a tick if it is okay, a cross if it is wrong, yes? Okay, is it clear? Ah, here we are. Okay, one. Page 60, one, hat, two, dress, three, shoes, boots, four, suit, five, shirt, six, belt, seven, skirt, eight, socks, and the mystery wall, trousers, yes? Number two, one, J, two, S, three, T, four, B, five, S, six, O, seven, R, yes? Only the two, these two exercises from page 70. Let's go to uh, page 71. One, isn't wearing, is wearing. Two, is buying, isn't selling. Three, isn't making, is designing. Four, isn't playing, is reading. Exercise seven from page 61. What's he wearing? Two, is Trisha buying or selling clothes? Four, what is Georgia designing? Four, three, that was three. Four, is he playing a computer game? Number eight, comes, two, are staying. Three, take, four, are you standing? Five, do you know? Six, I'm walking. Seven, are you learning? Eight, do you like? Yes, okay, I hope you have, uh, you have relaxed. Yes, you have relaxed, yes. Um, because we have the second, this is the second part of the year, and we need energy, yes, you need to work with energy, responsibility, yes, okay, so it would be better, yes, okay, uh, that you work with energy, yes, okay, uh, that you are positive, yes, because you're learning, if you are positive, and if you have good energy, you will have good results of course you have to study day by day yes okay what i wrote what we wrote in your report cards okay number eight comes are staying number three take are you standing number five do you know number six i'm working number seven are you learning number eight do you like yes okay let's go to page 62 page 62 and we have all the page there Okay, one head, two hair, repeat the words while you are correcting. Ear, four eye, five nose, six mouth, seven neck, eight shoulder, nine arm, ten hand, eleven leg, twelve foot. Number two, one foot, number two, hand, number three, neck, number four, back, number five, leg, number six, shoulder, number seven, knee, Number eight arm. Exercise three from page 62. Eyes, two head, three arms, four legs, five mouth, six body. Four, one force, two, two true, three false, four true, five true, six true, seven four. Let's go to exercise five. Have got, two are, three has got, four is, and five has got. Okay, now. 
it's sunny. Okay, number page 63. Yes. All right, there we go. Page 63, exercise five. Have got, two are, three has got, four is, and five has got. I repeat again because I continued, yes, just in case it was page 63. Bye-bye activity book and let's go to um, the quadernillo, okay? And I will go to page three. Page three, okay? You have to read, yes, the email and tick A, B, or C. Come on. One A, put a tick or a cross. Two C, three A, four C, five B, six A, seven C, eight A. Is it clear? So let's go to page seven. Page seven from the quadernillo. Okay. Well, you know you have the postcard there. Yes. Okay. You have to send me there that to the Google Classroom. Yes, okay. Now, mu a museum. Is there a museum? Two. How many hotels? How many clubs? How many lo pones, la que vos quieras, are there? Three. Are there any pubs? Yes, because here you have to practice is there and are there. Hay, singular o plural. Is it clear? Is there for singular? Are there for plural? You already know this. This is a revision. How many pubs are there? Page eight from the quadernillo. Is there a hotel? Six. Are there supermarkets? Is there a station? Be careful. If it is plural, you will use are there. If it is a station, a cinema, you will use is there. Okay? Good. So let's go to eight. How many supermarkets? Falta una S, le agregan. Are there? Is there a fish and chips restaurant? 10. Are there shopping? And then you have the description I already told you that you have to send me, okay? Good. So let's go to page 32 and I'm very interesting, interested in this page, on this page because uh, you need to focus on the main question, 32 and 33. Are you ready? Good. So, so, so we have Mary is a very nice person. Who is a very nice person? Susan often dances with Tom. So you have Susan, A, B, often, C, dances, and with Tom, D. Who often, who, this is A, who often Dances. ¿Por qué me voy a.? Oh, no me tengo que olvidar de esta S porque estoy preguntando las frases están presentes simple. Who often dances? Yes. With Tom. Yes. B. How often? Cada vez que yo tenga marcado. Often. Never. Never. Sometimes. Usually. Yes. Voy a preguntar con how often. Juan Amen. Yes. How often auxiliar does Susan dance with Tom? Ojo, está el auxiliar, ya la, el verbo va sin este. Eso ya lo sabes, ¿eh? With Tom. Estoy haciendo primero para que te quede claro. Yes. A modo de repaso otra vez. Ok. Teníamos marcado dances, o sea, la actividad. Que voy a preguntar qué hace, ok? What does, yes, Susan often do? She dances with Tom, yes? Y me queda el último with Tom y voy a preguntar who with. Cuando tengo que preguntar con quién, Va, vamos a usar el who al principio y el we el with al final. Who does, pero Tiche, ¿no me dijiste que después del who va directamente el verbo? No, porque acá estoy preguntando con quién. No quién baila, sino 
¿Con quién? Entonces sí voy a usar W, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo. Esta regla es para todo, todas las make questions, pero vos vas a focalizarte donde cuando tengo que cambiar el auxiliar, si es en present, if in past, in future, yes. Who does Susan dance with? She dances with Tom. Is it clear? Entonces así nos queda resuelta la primera, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que no te tenés que olvidar? Who más el verbo con S. How often, cada vez que tengo marcado, usually, never, sometimes, yes, is it clear? Always, doble E, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo, ¿está claro? Y acá, acordate, cuando quieres preguntar con quién, voy a empezar, who, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo, y el with al final. Who do you dance with? Who do you study with? Is it clear? Good. Esto presta súper atención y... Si no la hiciste bien, corregí tu frase. Si te comiste el verbo, si te comiste el auxiliar, corregilo. Es súper importante. ¿Está? Yes, ok. Number three. There are five museums in this area. Yes. How many museums are in this area? No. Are there in this area? No, there aren't any restaurants near here. Are there any restaurants? Near here. Are there any theaters in the street? Number five. Number six. Yes, I do. And this is an open question. Do you study every day? Do you play volleyball every day? Do you listen to music every day? Do you go to your parents' house every day? Yeah, grandparents' house every day. This is open. Así que mientras respetes el auxiliar más sujeto más verbo, va a estar bien. No, I don't. Lo mismo. Do you get up very early in the morning? Do you play um, volleyball? Do you play basketball, football? Is it clear? I am interested in learning new languages. What are you interested in? Yes? Okay. Okay. Who live, who, uh, well, my uncle likes fishing in the sea. Yes? My uncle likes fish, fishing in the sea. Who, like, who likes fishing in the sea? What does your uncle like doing in the sea? Acá tengo que preguntar, ¿qué le gusta hacer? What do you like doing? What does your mother like doing? Yes, okay, is it clear? Yes, okay, good. Um, in the sea. ¿A dónde le gusta pescar? ¿Dónde le gusta pescar? Where does your uncle like fishing? Where does your uncle like fishing? Number 10. Seguimos en present simple. Yes, pero ahí había una pregunta de What do you like doing? Yes, my parents met in 1997. Y acá viene una frase, ojo, porque hay cambio de um, tense. My parents met in 1997. Ok. ¿Quiénes se encontraron? Who? Pay attention. Who met in 1996? Ok. Entonces, we changed tenses here. ¿Es it clear? Uh, in 1997, en 1997, ¿cuándo se encontraron? Ok. Vamos. When, pay attention here, if you did it wrong, correct your mistake. Yes. When, auxiliar del pasado, did. Yes. Sujeto, your parents, your parents. When did your parents. Verbo en infinitive. Yes, verb meet, bla, bla, bla. Entonces, W, W. Auxiliary, subject, and verb in infinitive. Todos sabemos ya que el verb in infinitive, cuando está, cada vez que está el did. Yes, is it clear? Page 32. Ok. My sister saw a nice man on the train to Madrid. Y esta es bastante completita, eh. Ok, exercise A. Who saw ¿Quién vio? Su W, yes, W más el verbo en pasado, yes, ok. Who saw, yes, a nice 
wise man on the train to Madrid? B. A nice man. ¿Es ¿Qué voy a preguntar aquí? ¿Qué vio? ¿Ok? Cambio aquí el doble B. What. Dejo el auxiliar. Did. What did. What did. Your sister. Hace el cambio ahí. Porque es que vio tu hermana. Your mistake. Your sister. What did your sister. See. No so, ¿por qué? Porque está el auxiliar. On the train to Madrid. Yes, ok. What did your sister see on the train to Madrid? Una vez que la aprendí a hacer, esta está recopada. Es súper mecánico este ejercicio. To Madrid. ¿Para qué nos ayuda este ejercicio? Para mejorar eso. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Mejorar la parte de que te comes. A veces queremos preguntar, what she saw. No, what did she see? Entonces te comes esa seguidilla de W, auxiliar, sujeto y verbo. ¿Es clear? Bueno, dale, sigo. Where did your sister see the nice man? ¿Dónde lo vio? On the train. Where did your sister see the nice man? My friends went to the cinema last weekend. Where did your friends go last weekend? Weekend. Ahora pregunto, ¿cuándo? When did your friends go to the cinema? My grandfather, 13, bought a nice painting for my mother. What did your grandfather buy for your mother? ¿Qué le compró? A nice present. Painting, in this case. Okay? Uh, 14. I finished school at half past 12. Ok. Identificaste, las frases están pasadas. Entonces voy a preguntar en pasado. Acá no puedo hacer este ejercicio al voleo. Me tengo que concentrar. ¿Ok? ¿Qué voy a preguntar? ¿A qué hora? Muy bien. What time did you finish school yesterday? ¿Ok? At half past 12. ¿Ok? 15. My daughter was born in Mallorca four years ago. ¿Ok? ¿Quién nació en Mallorca? Who was born in Mallorca four years ago? ¿Dónde nació ahora? Where was your daughter born in, uh, four years ago in Mallorca? Ahora pregunto, ¿cuándo? When was your daughter born? She was born in four years ago. Susan goes to the gym twice a week. Yes, ok. Twice a week. Otra vez, ¿cuándo me aparece? How often? ¿Cuándo me aparece? Usually, sometimes. Once a week, twice a week, ¿qué voy a, qué voy a usar? ¿Con qué voy a preguntar? Con how often, how often. Entonces, grabatelo esto, que cada vez que vos tengas marcado, usually, todos los adverbios, uh, always, sometimes, yes, etc. Twice a week, once a week. Vos vas a preguntar con how often. ¿Is it clear? Entonces, acordate no, por favor. Yes, is it clear? Good. Um, okay, how often does Susan go to the gym? Twice a week. ¿Is it clear? People in Brazil were happy. Acá hay una frase en pasado, pero con el verbo to be. Porque vos puedes tener una frase en pasado con regular o irregular. ¿ves? Eso lo sabemos porque lo marcamos siempre en todas las clases durante second grade, third grade, and you are in second year. Of course, you already know this. Who were very happy to see Pope Francisco? My teacher is from Ireland. Y acá una super fácil porque es una frase en present simple, verb to be. Who is from Ireland? My teacher. Where is your teacher from? From Ireland. Is it clear? Bueno, espero que haya estado super bien esto. Yes. Y, o si no, ya te lo corregiste, lo volvés a analizar y lo volvés a ver. ¿Ok? So, let's go very quickly. Let's go very quickly to um, the class book. Yes, ok. I, I will tell you the pages. For you to put the dates. ¿Es clear? All right, so, page 
Pay attention now, we are going to work on page 96, 96, 98, 100, 101, and 104. Is it clear? And next class, you will have the revision from unit uh, 8. Is it clear? Next class, you will have the revision from unit 8. So you have to study all unit 8, present simple, present continuous, Conditional zero. If you study, you pass the exam. ¿Se acuerdan? El condicional. If you watch TV, you relax. Yes. If you don't study, you don't pass exams. Yes. Is it clear? If you are happy, you draw. Yes. Si estás feliz, dibujas. Si estás triste, lloras. ¿Está claro? Entonces teníamos el condicional, condicional, condicional zero. Y más present, más present, que expliqué la última clase eh, antes de irnos a las vacaciones. Have, has got, yes, um, vocabulary like, body, face, clothes, phrase al vez quedó, hoy y un repaso de short messages. ¿Es clear? Well, let's go to the pages from the class book very quickly. Ok, put the dates, yes, put the dates in all the pages. In all the pages, okay. All right. Good, good, good. So, uh, do you like pink or you prefer blue? If we are talking about colors, what do you prefer, pink or blue? Or both, or you don't care, okay? So, um, you have to look at these two pictures, yes, okay, pink and blue, and you have to say at home which similarities you find, yes, which similarities you find, yeah, and you have to say three things which are same or similar, and three things which are different. Look at the picture, yes, okay? So, uh, we have everything is the same color, yes, okay? In, on, the picture, uh, in, the, on the picture, in the picture on the right, we have a boy, yes, that is wearing uh, uh, pajamas, blue pajamas, and uh, on the other picture on the left, the girl is wearing pink, and the room is all pink, she's wearing a pink skirt, pink uh, leggings, a pink uh, t-shirt, yes, okay? Um, they have toys, clothes, toys, and uh, everything in pink and everything in blue, yes, okay? Um, and that's all, yes, okay? But these are the similarities, okay? Um, do you like pink? Uh, or you like other colors, yes? Because uh, pink is uh, associated with women or girls and uh, blue was always um, joined, yes, to uh, boys, yes, associated to boys. But I think nowadays it, it is not, um, not very common, yes, because you can... Um, uh, choose different colors, yes, okay, I like different colors and uh, I think a girl can play with different toys and a boy can play with different toys, yes, it doesn't matter if you are a girl or a boy, yes, but in the past, yes, they were, these toys are for girls and these toys are for women, for boys, yes, but I think nowadays we don't have this kind of problems, yes, for example, my daughters, yes, are used to playing with tools, yes? And in the past, uh, not in all the houses, but it was said that tools, you know, were uh, used for uh, boys. This is not a toy for a girl, yes? You can, you, you can play with those doors, with those parties, but I think that both boys and girls Yes, can play with different toys, can choose different colors, yes, it doesn't matter if you are a boy or a, or a girl, but in the past, yes, pink was for girl, uh, girls and blue was for boys, yes, okay, 
Okay, so you have to read the article and match these headlines. You will do exercise two, three, yes, okay, and five, yes, two, three, and five, okay? Remember to do the activities. Now you have to pause the video, do the activities. You will read the text, the two text, well, the text, yes, you will look at the pictures, yes, and then you will listen to the answers, okay? I will go to the answers. You pause the video, do the activities, okay? Los readings son muy importantes que los hagan porque de esta manera van a mejorar en la parte de reading skill. Number one, C. Number two, A. Number three, D. Number four, B. Number five, E. Exercise three. One, B. Two, E. Three, A. Four, F. 5D, 6H, 7G, 8C. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. And let's go to exercise 5. Yes, okay. 1C. Yes, so it, the, these are the, the ways you use like. Yes, okay. There are blue toys like robots. Yes, okay. Uh, there are toys like robots, dinosaurs, and superheroes. Yes, you have one C, such as. Entonces usamos el like, tenemos los usos de like como para decir como. I have many toys, like dolls, like doll things. Yes, okay, so be careful. When you use like, yes, you will use like, como such as. I have many toys, like Barbies, dolls, trains, is it clear? And then you have girls like, I am in exercise five, yes, from page 98. Girls like pink, like pink makeup, yes, okay? And you have 2A, love. Entonces tenemos el uso de like como love también. Para que criticar, para decir, I have many... Uh, many, I like many colors, I like many colors, like blue, yellow, yes, pink, is it clear? Such as, then we have, I like pink, like love, yes, and then you have the, the third example, many of these girls were like, see who, and had lots of pink things, yes, okay, so you have the similar to. Entonces usamos el like en estos diferentes, estas diferentes maneras. Yes, ok. I like pink, like love. I have many toys, like, I like many fruit, like, yes, ok. I have many fruits at home, like bananas, apple, such as como, banana, yes. And then you have, she's like, yes. Uh, my sister, como, yes, yeah? similar to, I am like my sister, my mother is like her grandmother, is it clear? Entonces, ojo ahí con el uso de eh, like, yes, entonces tenemos like, like such as, yes, like love, and like similar to, yes, te puedes escribir un ejemplito ahí en tu cuaderno de inglés, yes, Okay, so let's go to page uh, 100, yes, okay, do you remember how to um, describe pictures? So we are going to uh, revise description of pictures, yes, I will project. Do you take photos? Do you take a lot of photos? Yes or no? Yes? Okay, where do you, do you post your photos? Where do you post your photos? On Instagram, on Facebook, yes? Okay, we are on page 100, um, 100, 100 and 101, yes? And then we are going to go to the revision and then you are going to be free and you have to study unit all, unit eight, yes? I have already revised um, uh, the conditional CO2, yes, okay? Minutes.
Okay, so the thing is, do you take a lot of photos on your phone or with a camera? This is interesting. Do you use a camera or your phone to take photos? Yes, because, for example, I am used to taking photos with my camera, not with a cell phone, because I, th I think that you can take better photos using a camera. Yes, but I'm not saying that the photos that we take, that you take with a cell phone, are not uh, um, good. Yes, but I prefer a camera. What do you prefer? Uh, do you take a lot of photos? You don't like photos at all? Yes, where do you post? Do you post your photos? And in case you post your photos, where do you post? Okay, I want you to answer these questions I'm making at home. Is it clear? ¿No te parezca que, ay, no estoy hablando solo? No, vos estás cursando la clase de inglés y tenés que responder a las cositas que te voy diciendo. Yes, please. Okay, so, we are going to look at uh, this photo. Yes, okay. Is it clear? And um, you are going to say where do you think these people are? Yes. What are they doing? Yes. Okay. How do they feel? Yes. Uh, do you think it is uh, an interesting photo? Yes. Okay. So you are going to look at the photos at home. You have to describe the photo. You are going to say where are these people? You know, where? How they are feeling? Yes, where are these people? How are they feeling? Um, how do they feel? Sorry. Uh, and then you will say if you like or if you don't like the photo. Yes, okay, but remember, remember this. I want you to describe this picture using this. In the middle of the picture, on the right, on the left, in the middle, at the top, at the bottom, on the right, on the left, in the middle, on the right, on the left, yes, at the top, at the bottom, in the foreground, in the background. ¿Por qué te toco la, me toco la frente cuando digo foreground? Para que vos te acuerdes, for es frente, entonces al frente y in the background, atrás. In the foreground, in the background. Así lo que te va a resultar, ¿eh? Ok, bueno, well, so, um, on the right of the picture, I can see a group of uh, um, people. I think they are uh, on a train. Yes, okay, or maybe in the underground, yes, okay. Uh, this woman in the, in the background is reading a book. The woman in the foreground uh, is texting someone, I don't know who. Uh, they are talking, they are whispering, yes. Están susurrando, whispering each other, to each other. And she's looking at the girl, I think, yes, yeah? so or maybe at her phone, yes, she's a, a kind of gossip girl, yes, okay, well, and then we have on the picture, on the picture on the right, in the picture on the right, uh, in the background, I can see a father and uh, his son, he looks a bit, a bit angry, and then I have uh, in the foreground we have a, a, a man. He is wearing a shirt, yes, and he's wearing dark glasses, yes, okay. And then we have uh, in the um, it was at the top, and then we have at the bottom, on the, at the bottom, at the top, at the bottom, on the right. Uh, that is um. A group of people, I think they are again in the underground, yes, and they are okay, like concentrating, yes, on their things or on, on their way, I think, yes, because when you go, when you travel by underground, you have to concentrate, um, concentrate where you must stop, yes. 
and then uh, at the bottom on the right I can see um, two women yes and a man he's wearing a suit and she's wearing a beige oh beige earrings yes okay and they are I think they are texting we can't see yes but I I think they are texting and one of the women is looking at the camera you know one of the women is looking at the camera yes there are two women there but one of the women is looking at the camera yes okay so that was the description of the picture yes okay so we answer where well, they are in the underground or on a train how are they feeling he's feeling a bit upset yes they are feeling okay i think um I like, if I like the picture, um, I like this picture because I think there is a connection between the father and uh, the naughty boy. Maybe he was a naughty boy. Yes, is it clear? So remember when you talk about the picture, to introduce your picture, this picture shows people in the underground, at the top, at the bottom, on the right, on the left, in the middle, yes, in the foreground, in the background, yes, is it clear? And then I can see, because it shows, I can see, you already know, yes, is it clear? So this is the chart, yes, then you have all the um, emotions that a picture can show, yes, for example, she's feeling sad, she's feeling happy, and you have to highlight the chart on page 100. And in the end of your description, yes, you have to say if you like the picture or not. I like this picture because blah, blah, blah. Remember, you have to uh, give an, uh, a reason why you like the picture. Yes, is it clear? Remember, you use present continuous to describe pictures. She's texting. They are looking at it, each other. They are discussing, yes, is it clear? The picture shows that it's present simple. Is it clear? Yes. She looks happy, she looks sad, she looks upset. Right, so we are going to, I will turn it off, and we are going to go to the, to the exercises there. So the exercises on page 100, yes, number one and number two are you are already done because they were that was the talking, yes, about the picture. So we are going to go to the listening, yes, um, exercise three. Are you ready? Read it first, read it first, yes. You have to listen to someone talking about him and his photography, answer the questions. There we are. Truck 79, unit 8D. Rainier Gerritsen is one of my favorite photographers. He's from the Netherlands, but you can often see his photos around the world, in magazines and sometimes in galleries. I've got some books by him as well. His photos are very interesting. They often show people in their everyday life. This one is on the New York Truck 79, Unit 8D. Rainier Gerritsen is one of my favorite photographers. He's from the Netherlands, but you can often see his photos around the world, in magazines and sometimes in galleries. I've got some books by him as well. His photos are very interesting. They often show people in their everyday life. 
This one is on the New York subway. It's early. You know, subway. Yes, you know this word, of course, because there is a very known company called Subway. This is American English and this is British English, yes, that is underground, yes, or tube. Tube is informal, yes. In Inglaterra, they say the tube. Did you check the, the tube? Yes, okay. Underground? Yes, okay, and subway. This is British English, this is more informal tube, and this is underground. Tube. Yes? Morning. So I think most of the people are traveling to work. They're all standing close together, but they aren't talking to each other. Well, on the right, the man and woman are talking, but the others aren't. The woman in the middle is reading her book, and in front of her, the woman with blonde hair is listening to music. Then the other blonde woman on the left is watching her. I'm not sure what she's thinking, but she looks a bit sad. Oh, and look at the other woman at the back. She's looking straight at the photographer. Yes. I take the train to work every day, but I never think about the other people. I like it because I don't normally look at people very closely, but Gerritsen does. Okay, well, so number one, are you there? They are on the subway or underground. One woman is listening to music, checking her phone, while another woman is looking at what she's doing. A woman is reading, a couple, are, a couple are holding each other close, they feel tired or bored maybe, yes, a woman is looking at the photographer, the woman feels very interested, yes, and so on, yes, okay, is it clear, good, well, number one, sorry. His photos are very interesting and um, the speaker likes them because normally she doesn't look at people in their everyday activity very closely, but the photogra this photogra photographer does, okay? Number two, on the New York subway, acordate, American English, subway, British English, uh, underground. Three, first the man and the woman on the right, second the woman in the middle reading the her book, third, the woman with blonde hair listening to music and fourth, the, then the other blonde woman on the left watching her. And fifth, the other woman at the back looking at the photographer. And we're going to, uh, you're going to play it again and you are going to match the beginning of the sentences with the ending. The beginning is from 1 to 10 with the endings from A to J, okay? You listen again. I will say the answers, okay? Now you play it again and then listen to the answers. 1B, 2A, 3J, 4C, 5F, 6H, 7D, 8E, 9I, 10G. Okay? Is it clear? Good. So let's go to page 101. Yes, pay attention because... Uh, I will show you three or some examples of short messages. Is it clear? Okay, we already know how to write short messages, okay? So, whenever you write uh, short messages, there is a kiss rule, yes, okay? Don't add, todos los short messages siempre tienen que ser, como te dice la palabra, Short, cortos. Entonces, ¿qué no vamos a agregar? Unnecessary information. Información innecesaria. ¿Qué vamos a usar? We, have, we can use numbers, no words, yes. Cuanto menos posibles usamos palabras, mejor, because these are short messages. Number three, use long sentence. Don't use long sentences with a lot of conjunction. Yes, ok, no vamos a usar muchas frases con muchas conjunciones, ni, no, short messages. 
use less formal words and phrases every, in everyday messages, ¿ok? Tenemos que usar lo menos formal. ¿Está? Porque los short messages son informal. ¿Yes? ¿Y qué podemos dejar de poner? ¿Qué podemos omitir? Vamos a omitir, por ejemplo, palabras como los pronombres, ¿sí? Y como los verbos auxiliares. ¿Está? Come home. ¿Yes? ¿A qué me refiero cuando yo digo omitir? Puedo sacar. Atención acá, ¿eh? Porque quiero que pongan en práctica esto en los messages. No escribir cualquier cosa. Así que, warning here. ¿Está? Entonces, ¿qué podemos sacar? Yo sí te digo, do you want, do you want to come home tonight? Bueno, esto sería un short o long message. Un long message. No es un short message. Entonces, ¿Qué dice la regla de Kiss Rule? Que podemos omitir palabras, como por ejemplo, auxiliares. Do you, queda, you want to come home, to come, y puedo omitir esto, tonight, to, night. ¿Ves? Tonight, por ejemplo. Y yo lo que te voy a dar, es ejemplos ahora de eso. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? ¿Ok? A ver, a minute. You can see it. That is perfect. Read it, please, at home. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Hey, Leo, meeting at Blue's Cafe at 6 p.m. See you there. Ahí tenemos una de las palabritas que aparecen. ¿Vos no pones? See you. Si no ponemos, see you. ¿Es it clear? You can use these abbreviations, ¿ok? Hey you, Lucy, mira la abreviación acá, ok, súper informal, lunch, no pongo, we are going to meet at McDonald's, yes, ok, we are going to have lunch, no, this is informal and these are short messages, yes, lunch at McDonald's, pick you up at 11.30, ¿está? ¿Te das cuenta de lo que te quiero explicar? Yes, is it clear? Y después tenemos otra. Bro, call me ASAP. Y tenemos la abreviación ASAP. As soon 
as possible. Mira todo lo que ahorramos. ¿Es it clear? Yes. Ok, después tenemos otra abreviación como TX, que significa thanks. Yes, is it clear? Then we have thank you very much. Yeah, very much. Yes. Trata de usarlas para la clase que viene. Yes, ok. Then, WB, welcome back. Is it clear? Yes. All right. Yes, entonces, ¿qué voy a esperar? Unos buenos mensajes, yes, para, yes, when you already know, lol, laughing out loud, eh, los que chatean, sí, se ve mucho eso cuando chateas de forma informal, yes, ok, uh, before, I see you before, before, Christmas, for example, is it clear? Okay, well, so uh, call me back, CM, call me, yes, okay, these are abbreviations that you can use when you are writing a uh, exam, and then you have see you later, see you uh, late, Later. Yes? Is it clear? Mira, ahora puedes usar todo, todas estas abbreviations. Yes? Okay. Um, for writing the short messages. Okay? Estaba pensando algunas más que te podía dar. Okay? Well, so there we are. Good, good, good. Let's continue. So these are messages. Acordate. Eh, de mirar siempre las Kiss Rules, cuáles son las Kiss Rules. Obvio que puedes usar todos los emoticons que quieras. Yes, ok. You have this. And these are the Kiss Rules. Entonces, una de las cosas es que puedes dejar, sacar pronombres, sacar verbos auxiliares. Ok, is it clear? Good. Porque de tarea tenés que escribirme un short message que va a tener 20 words. No more than 20 words. Y menos inclusive, ¿eh? Porque son súper cortos, ¿ok? ¿Cuántas podemos tener en esta? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. ¿Sí? Yes, ¿Ok? Uh, 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 uh. Quedamos en 12, 12 palabras. ¿Sí? Yes? 12 words, ¿ok? 12 words. Is it clear? Well, so what you are going to do as a homework exercise four, that is the writing, yes? Write a message to ask to meet. You are busy in the afternoon, but you can meet in the evening. You are free this evening, suggesting a time, agree and suggest a place, agree and say goodbye. Esta, entonces, esta es la guía que vas a usar para escribir ese mensaje. ¿Qué tenés que, que preguntar? Ask to me. Primero le vas a decir que te vas a encontrar. Then, you have to say that you are busy in the afternoon and you can meet in the evening. Yes? Say the time in the, in the evening and the place and the goodbye. Is it clear? Yes? And you have three examples. Yes? Okay, I have already explained. Yes? Okay, good. A minute. All right. Good. Well, um, shall we go very quickly now to exercise one? Two and three. El three ya está porque ya te expliqué lo de las key rules. Kiss rules, ¿ok? 
So let's go to um, blah, 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 exercise two. One, sorry. I agree, okay. B, I like it. C, that's funny, that makes me laugh. Todos los emoticons, ya te saben los, eh, los significados. Number D, letter D, well done. You did it, you did a good time. Yep, the hands, clapping. And you know, E is, that make, makes me angry, okay? So of course you can use emoticons. Yes, uh, two, one B or D, two B or C, three E, four A or B, and five B. Is it clear? Good. So there we go to uh, page 104, and that is the last one. Yes, okay, the revision you have to do. Exercise three, four, five, and six. Dale, three, four, five, and six. Yes, okay. Good. There we go, do it, come on. And then we check. you have to put the dates in all the pages okay good so pay attention here yeah. vas a sacar el cuaderno de la A a la Z yes y vas a escribir estas abreviaciones que te explicó la teacher ¿sí? escribir en el cuaderno de la A a la Z más lo que te voy a mostrar ahora, que no sale en el book, pero sí está en el activity book. Esto va a estar en, de la A a la Z, phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs. Quiero que me escriba un ejemplo con cada uno, como los que voy a dar ahora. Unit 8. Son los phrasal verbs de la unidad 8. ¿Es clear? Good. Bla, 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 bla. Activity. There we are. Todos los cuadros gramaticales tienen que estar subrayados. Te los voy a mostrar ahora cuáles son. Estos tienen que estar en el cuaderno de la A a la Z. ¿Yes? ¿Es it clear? Page 57. Phrasal verbs. Te los voy a... a Hacer un ejemplo con cada uno de ellos. Acuérdate que siempre la teacher hace un ejemplo con todo lo nuevo. ¿Es el clear? Quiero que lo pongas en tu cuadernito que habíamos quedado, que tenías que hacer así, de la A a la Z. ¿Está? Ese va a ser el cuaderno de vocabulario. ¿Ok? Bien, minutes. En tu foto pizarra te voy a poner de la A a la Z y vos ya sabes lo que significa de la A a la Z. ¿Está? Te lo pongo con rojo. Yes. Good. Well, so pay attention now. Ahí está. Lo tenés listo. Acá está el eh, 12 palabras, el short message. Usa las abreviaciones que te di. Y tenemos uh, word building, phrase verbs. So we have put on, you know, put on. Put on your jacket. Can you put on your shoes? And we can go. 
Yes, okay? Put on, you know, ponerse. Then we have take off. Take off your sweater. Yes, take off your shoes. Yes, come from. Where do they come from? They come from China. They come from Japan. Venir de. Can you call me back? Yes, I can't answer now. Can you call me back? Which is call back. Entonces, todas estas son verbos y estas son preposiciones. Entonces, tenemos un phrasal verb. Yes, is it clear? So, we have put on, take off, come from, y hay muchos. ¿sí? Call back. Can you call me back in five minutes? Eat out. Yes. Okay, I think tonight we can eat out. Comer afuera, yes. Okay, salir a comer. Get up. Do you get up very early in the morning? Yes. What time do you usually get up? I got up very late yesterday. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. Oh, I have to look up some words in the dictionary. I will have to look up some words in the dictionary. Buscar palabras donde? In the dictionary. Look up. Yes, I want you to look up some words in your dictionary. Is it clear? So these are the phrasal verbs from this unit. Yeah? Okay? Shall we go to the revision now? Yes? And we are done. Y terminamos aquí. Yes? Okay? ¿Cómo te sentiste en la primera clase? Bien, mejor, con energía. Yes? Okay. Well, um, there we are. Good, good, good. Let's go. Exercise three. Present simple, present continuous. Remember, you use present simple for things we are doing now, for things we do as a routine, sorry, and present continuous for things we are doing now. Present simple, routine. Present continuous, things we are now. We are doing now at the moment of speaking, yes? I am looking at the camera. Yes, I am talking to my students, okay? So we have exercise three, are working, two, Always start, remember to stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Are you doing? Four is writing, five live, six do you like, seven are you wearing and eight are driving. Exercise four. One has got, remember we, we use has got with he, she, it and the rest has got. You already know has got because this is a, a review. Two haven't got, three have got, Four hasn't got, five haven't got, six has got, seven have got, and eight has got. Exercise five. Mask, this is vocabulary, specific vocabulary, clothes, remember to study. Happy, three top, four tie, five arm. You have in this unit, you have uh, clothes, body, yes, emotions. Uh, angry, number six, seven, scar, number eight, hand, number nine, socks, and number ten, eye. Exercise six, shows, two, costumes, three, makeup. I am wearing makeup. So they say wear makeup, maquillaje. Hats in the middle and looks. And that is all, okay? Remember to... Um, as homework, yes, you will do a short message and pages. 64, uh, exercise 3 and 4, 65, exercise 2, and 66 and 67 from the activity book. Bye-bye. Welcome back. I need you with a lot of energy, yes, on this second part of the year, okay? Bye-bye. See you next class.